<laughs> All I'll right. Thank aside. you so much for that, Royal. Okay, so usually we talk about exercise to get you, you know, feeling good, get your blood flowing. Well, now we're going to be using exercise, yoga in particular, to help you fall asleep. I mean, yeah. go figure. We have Natalie here from Yoga 6 Hi. and her wonderful model, who thankfully is going to be doing all the stretching so we can just sit back and watch. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay, so, so yoga to sleep. Yeah, yoga is a really great way to prep yourself for sleep in a couple of different ways. So a lot of the day we are inundated with those um, notifications and we're looking at screens and there's bright lights are yes. all around and that keeps us in this constant state of heightened awareness and alert in our nervous system. So we can use yoga and yoga postures and yogic breath to bring ourselves into what's called the parasympathetic nervous system I love, state. let's start seeing some of yeah, that. So we're going to um, start in a child's pose variation. Oh, this is my so, favorite pose. Yeah, it's a wonderful <laughs> pose, it feels you'll great. See. So you'll sit back onto your heels and um, then draw a pillow, or if you have a yoga bolster, that works, but a bed pillow works just as well. Draw that up into your hips. Start to fold over the pillow, and then you can wrap your arms around the pillow and kind of give it a nice hug. And turn your head to one side or the other, whatever oh. feels most comfortable. And allow yourself to just completely relax into the shape. Spend a few moments with your head looking in one direction and then turn it the other way. And make sure you're breathing slowly and deeply and starting to make yourself feel calm as you're here. And but, I like that because the setting we're in, it's like your living room setting, okay? Yeah, it, you can do this. You don't even need a mat. Um, but I do recommend getting yourself ready for bed before you get here so you can like, slide right into bed afterwards. <laughs> you don't need be in your work outfit yeah, right? and then just laying on the floor when your <laughs> like husband comes home. Brush your teeth, wash your face, do all those things first so you can just head right into bed. Okay, so this is one pose. So this is one pose. So from here, just push the pillow off to the side and come forward and lie down onto your belly and extend your legs back behind you. Now, your elbows will be right underneath your shoulders. This pose is called Sphinx Pose and um, it looks kind of like the Sphinx in Egypt, right? That long, broad chest. So if you press down into the tops of your feet and tone your glutes just a little bit, you'll feel a beautiful stretch. Most of us spend a lot of our time sitting, and so the front of our hips get really, really tight. Oh. This is a beautiful way to open that up and get space across your chest. Oh, like and then you that. can roll out your neck a little bit and take some deep breaths in. So there is a little more engagement happening here because you're pressing the floor away, but it's really beautiful for opening the front side of the body. Okay. Okay, perfect. Yeah. I think we have time for two more and poses. And then from here, she'll, uh, you press up into a tabletop pose and um, move through your spine a little bit again. So again, we spend a lot of our time sedentary, th watching TV, driving around the city, sitting at our desks at work. So moving your spine is so important for spinal health and comfort. You can find some movement all the way around. So she's uh, Haley's showing us cat cow right now. I was gonna say, the is that in, called the cat? Yep, the inhale takes you up, the exhale curls you around, but you can really just find whatever freeform movement feels good. Get into your hips, get into your shoulders, roll out your head and neck, and take some time to sort of stretch yourself out in a way that feels gentle and opening for you. So I love this. Completely customizable. Yeah, and I have so, to, of course I ask because of course being pregnant, eight months pregnant, it's finally difficult to oh, fall asleep. Oh, definitely, yes. definitely. So you would definitely want to avoid things that are lying on your front. Yes. And anything on your back you would move with caution. Yes, mm -hmm. slowly but uh -huh. surely. Well, thank you so much, oh, yeah, Natalie so from Y6. Where are you guys located? <laughs> we are in the Ganey Village Shopping Center on Scottsdale Road and Doubletree. Okay, perfect. This might just be my yeah, favorite so pose of all. This is um, a version of legs up the wall yes. or waterfall pose. You can slide that pillow underneath your back, rest your uh, calves onto a couch, your bed if it's one of those lower or versions. Or just fall asleep like that exactly. and then, you know, if you haven't dozed wake up by relaxed. Now, Take the whole cycle through like one that. more time. Okay, and well, you'll thank feel you. Great. Thank you, Natalie, yeah. and our wonderful model that I'm kind of getting tired watching you. Does that help? <laughs> so I need relaxing, to watch this before right? I go to sleep. All right, well, thank you so much. Yoga, you. Uh, yoga, yoga six. six. Yoga six. Gainy Village. 